Hi everybody, this is Rhett. Welcome to Statistics. In this video, we'll learn about the least squares regression line. A regression line describes a relation between two variables. Here's a scatter plot of two variables. There appears to be a strong positive linear relation. A regression line will describe that relation. The least squares regression line is the line that fits the data best. The regression equation is given by y hat equals b sub 1 times x plus b sub 0. Rather than say b sub 1, we'll just say b1. And rather than b sub 0, it's common to say B not. That's N A U G H T. In this equation, Y hat is a predicted value of the response variable. B1 is the slope, and B not is the Y intercept. This is an equation in slope intercept form. So, to find the regression equation, we need the slope and the Y intercept. If you're given x bar, y bar, s sub x, s sub y, and r, the calculations for slope and y intercept aren't too bad. x bar is the mean of your explanatory data values, y bar is the mean of your response data values, s sub x is the standard deviation among the explanatory values, S sub y is the standard deviation among the response values, and r is the correlation coefficient. To calculate the slope, divide the standard deviation among the explanatory values by the standard deviation among the response values, then multiply by the correlation coefficient. We'll use the slope to find the y-intercept. Multiply the slope by the mean of the explanatory values, subtract this product from the mean of the response values. In Excel, you can use the function LINEST. There are two parameters, both of which are arrays. The first array will be your response values, and the second array will be your explanatory values. The order is important in this function. When you enter a function in a single cell, Excel can only return one value. We need two values returned, the slope and the y-intercept. And so, we need two cells for this one function. Here's how you do that. Enter the function and parameters in one cell, and then press Enter. Then, highlight the cell containing the function and the adjacent cell. Press and release F2. Then, simultaneously, press Control, Shift, and Enter. Excel will return the slope in the first cell and the y-intercept in the second. Let's look at an example. Here's a small data set with years of education as an explanatory variable and an unemployment rate as a response variable. We'll start by calculating a few statistics. Here I have the correlation coefficient, the two standard deviations, and the two means. Let's start by calculating the slope. The formula for slope, B1, is R times the quotient of SY and SX. I'll plug in the values from the table. The correlation coefficient is negative 0.83. The standard deviation among the response values is 5.83, and the standard deviation among the explanatory values is 3.88. Once I simplify, I see that the slope is negative 1.25. Next, let's calculate the y-intercept. The formula for y-intercept is b naught equals y-bar minus b1 times x-bar. Again, I'll plug in values from the table. The mean response is 13.34. The 
the slope is negative 1.25 and the mean explanatory value is 10.36. So the y-intercept is 26.29. When we put this all together into an equation, we get y-hat equals negative 1.25x plus 26.29. The slope is negative 1.25 and the y-intercept is 26.29. It'd be nice if we had a graph of the regression line. We'll start with a table of ordered pairs. I'll pick values of x such as 5, 10, and 15. I'll plug each one into the equation and look for the output. Here's the scatter plot of education and unemployment. Let's plot the first ordered pair. Let's also plot the last ordered pair, 15 and 7.54. Draw a line through the two points, and now we have a graph of the regression line over the scatter plot. How do we interpret the slope and y-intercept? In statistics, we interpret the slope of the regression equation as the estimated change in y per unit increase in x, and the y-intercept is the estimated value of y when x equals zero. Our regression equation is y-hat equals negative 1.25x plus 26.29. The slope is negative 1.25. That means that for each additional year of education, the unemployment rate decreases by one and a quarter percent on average. And according to the y-intercept, the estimated unemployment rate for persons with zero years of education is 26.29%. Keep in mind that if zero is not a reasonable value of the explanatory variable, this interpretation of the y-intercept will not make sense. And that's the case here. In this video, we learned about the least squares regression equation. We discussed slope, the y-intercept, and how to interpret both. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Until next time, stay real and be rational.